Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I found the mole. David Ward was running lines for the ASC. In these times, spies are everywhere. They used to be like rats, but now bear more resemblance to cockroaches. Should you see one, you can be certain a hundred more reside in the walls, each placed there while their arms were twisted by the ASC. So, what happened with this ward? He's dead. As hard as it must have been to dispense of one of your own, no, it was for the best. A man's secrets die with him.
Lieutenant, I was told Dave Ward has gone AWOL. Any idea where he is? Sorry, Cap. I haven't got the slightest clue. I see. This is bad. I have no choice but to declare him a deserter. I'm afraid there'll be gossip that you can't earn the respect of your men, and the Army's reputation will take another hit. I warned you to keep your head down, Lieutenant. I don't know what you did, but Colonel Victor was having you tailed during your missions, and now he's got a shitload to say about it, and none of it's good. I tried defending you, but the things he's saying... You defuse the rebellion, but in a way that makes you seem pretty pro-mutant. Now, I told you myself, I'd give you a chance to explain, but you better talk quick. In the ASC, there's zero tolerance for mutant sympathy. And if you don't have a different version to tell, Victor's hinting at collateral damage. That's a damn lie. I don't know why he'd lie, but... It's bullshit. I don't think you want to go down that path, Lieutenant. That's a serious accusation to level at a superior. Might want to think twice before you speak again. Victor also states you voluntarily jeopardized the lives of the officials you were charged with protecting. Want to explain that? How do I explain something that's not... If I put those officials' lives in more danger, I'd have been risking my men's lives and mine as well. Why would I do that? And the claims that you've been hiding vital intel for the sole benefit of your fellow Technomancers. Like an important research site on the Shadow Path of Aurora that didn't even register a line item in your reports? Captain, the only thing I've ever done is accomplish the missions you gave me. Nothing more, nothing less. Never concealed anything, or had any other interest but abundances at the forefront. This is unfair. I know what you've accomplished. Also know what he's saying. And even if he's not a fan of Technomancers, that alone wouldn't motivate him to make all this up to frame you. And the list of accusations and the details is long. Like your report on the deserters. Less truth than lies. Almost more lies than ink. Never would have expected it from you, Lieutenant. Captain, if I was in your shoes, I'd feel the same. But take a step back. All those missions you sent me on, all the success I brought back to you. Whatever the Colonel's after, it's not about my actions. There's got to be something else. Of course there's more to it, Lieutenant. You lie, conceal intel, and then claim you're just a poor, innocent target? We're at war! Hear me? Which side are you on? Why the hell would the Colonel waste his energy at a time like this on a single damn Lieutenant? If he didn't think you could be a real danger. This is your own fault, Lieutenant. Your fault. Maybe you're just a pawn. I don't know, though. And that scares me. Unfortunately, he's already called you in and I can't stop it. All I can tell you is watch your mouth. Behave like the soldier you've been since you joined my company and you'll come out just fine. I'll plead in your favor if it comes down to that. Let's just hope it doesn't. Get going. The Colonel's waiting. Good luck. There he is! Zachariah! I was scared we were too late! For what? What's going on? There's no time to talk about it. You're in danger. Victor called you in, didn't he? Yeah, wants to talk to me about- No, he doesn't. It's a trap. It's just an excuse to get you there so they can arrest you. They will do whatever necessary to make you talk. I don't know what you Technomancers are hiding, but he's ready to do anything to find out. He's got power, but he was- Zach, listen to the girl. You stay away from that man. The crook, the- the, the pig- Thanks, Scott. You need to listen to us, Zachariah. I know it's hard to hear, but if you stay here, you're gonna die. Where would I even- We take a rover and go. The town's filled with ASC looking for you now, but I know a road that'll help us avoid most of the troops. Let's go, Zach. We need to go with the girl. No time to waste before that- that- that 
Madman gets his hands on you. Now! Looks like Victor knew you were on your way out. His men are everywhere. It's gonna be real hard to get out without some fight. It's unfortunate. You have done nothing wrong. We gotta avoid the train station. Know how many soldiers they have waiting there? Let's head toward the barracks instead. The only place they won't expect us to go. It's blocked, but maybe there's a passage near the archives. Come on. <laughs> We gotta avoid the train station. Know how many soldiers they have waiting there? Let's head toward the barracks instead. The only place they won't expect us to go. It's blocked, but maybe there's a passage near the archives. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> 
But maybe there's a passage near the archives. Come on. Here we go. All right. Guess I didn't think we'd get all the way up here. But we gotta keep moving fast. Let's get to the shed. Hurry. I don't... don't mean to question you or your... It's just I know Amelia and she won't be happy about this. Then we won't ask her opinion. How's that? Our lives are on the line here, not just Zach and I. And I'd Traitor, rather use her... Get up! Here. Traitor! Get up! Get him! Uh. 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 
Here we go. All right. Guess I didn't think we'd get all the way up. But we gotta keep moving fast. Now let's get into the shed. Hurry. I don't, don't mean to question you or your... No, Amelia. We won't ask for opinion. How's that? Our lives are on the line here, not just Zach's now. And I'd rather piss her off than lose mine. Move. Oh! <laughs> 
For the last time, we're not here to damage the equipment. We're here to stop a terrorist. So get out of the way, now! Damn it, they're already here. Who the fuck do you think you are? It's my warehouse, you prick. If there was a terrorist here, I'm pretty sure I'd have seen his ass lurking around. So you're gonna... Hey! Make yourself at home! Lieutenant, sorry to ruin the surprise, but your little mission ends here. Stop! The traitor!
for the last time. For the last... <laughs> For the last time... You are driving. Get us out of Ophir now. Fine. Everyone in the rover. Victor used everything I did as an officer against me, and I end up chased by my own people. Then one of my own soldiers turns out to be ASC, and I get involved in the armed robbery of a rover owned by my childhood corporation. Yeah, I'm doing okay, Misha. Surely the young lady would not be taking this to an imaginary city. I mean, rovers are amazing machines, but certainly they cannot transport one beyond the bounds of reality and reason. I am not keen on leaving abundance. Noctis is an amazing city, Scott. It's as real as Ophir, but more amazing than anything you've ever seen before. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sure. Full of fairies and... and... Balderdash. <laughs> What 
can you tell us about Noctis, Nisho? You've been there before? If I hadn't, how the hell would I be bringing you there? The place is a secret, and the only way you know where it is is if you've been. It's impossible to describe to someone who's only ever seen the shithole of Ophir. More colorful, more lively. People from all over the planet live there. Tons of merchants, obviously. But we'll be there soon enough, and you can see for yourself. <laughs> Look what that stupid creature did to my baby! Vengeance fucked! I'll never repair this. You didn't even leave me spare parts. You really... An ostrich. No doubt about it, it's a wild ostrich. Look, you see the spikes on its back? Unfortunately, the poor animal died, but I'm almost sure that... Well, according to the sky, we don't have much time before sunrise. Fortunately, we're not very far away. We better get a move on. It's a pretty good idea, because, as I was about to tell you, these creatures are social. They rarely travel alone. We might find ourselves in the middle of a herd, and an angry ostrich can be very dangerous. Very good. Wanna guide us, Nisha? And Amelia, leave that rover alone. As you said, you won't be able to fix it. And if you stay, you'll die. Isn't that what that bitch wanted? That I die? I hate you all! Stop it. We never wanted you to die. We need you. I know that you love that machine, but there's no time to cry over it. Come on. 